So these puffball ears seemed like a great idea when I was in the store in Forever 21 and they just looked so beautiful and white and fluffy and I was like this would be perfect for winter. But uh, unfortunately there's this thing called foundation and um, it stains. It stains white things. Now I look like dirty snow. I look like snow in my yard where my dog peed. On my ears. On my head. Hey what's up everybody, it's Amaya. So today's video is <laughs> so, so today's video is going to be a little bit of a chit chat get ready with me, um, tutorial-ish sort of thing, uh, I have to get ready, put on some makeup, and this is a look that I have been wearing a lot recently. Um you can see it in pretty much all of my recent videos <laughs> if you look. Um, I've been wearing very like bronzy, gold, effortless sort of easy eye makeup um, and nude-ish lips. And I've just really been loving glitter this year during the day, in the afternoon, at night, while I'm sleeping, while I'm showering, while I'm eating. Ah, glitter is always great. So I'm going to be showing you how to kind of get a nice effortless glittery daytime appropriate look. Look. Um, also, please ignore my nails. I decided to take off my other ones. Actually, they fell off. <laughs> my other French manicure that I had fell off. So now I have these Impress like stick-on nails. And uh, two of them fell off already. I did them yesterday. Two of them fell off like an hour after I did them. The rest of them are fine. And I could put these two on, but I'm really lazy right now. So... Okay, so without further ado, let's get into the video. So we're going to start by priming the face. I already did my brows. I hate doing them on camera. You guys know this. Hopefully I'm going to be doing a brow tutorial someday, but that someday is not today. So I already skipped brows. I'm going to be starting out with the, um, the Ordinary High Spreadability Fluid Primer. I have been trying this sparingly. People are not giving it great reviews, but Wayne Goss gives it an amazing review, and Wayne Goss is like the king of makeup, so I'm like, if he loves it, it should be good. I just... I don't know, I haven't really tried it that much. I can't really figure out how to use it. It's just like a very liquidy, like, gel. I'm just gonna pretend like we're on Instagram here and... So, speaking of Instagram and YouTube and all that, Tarte recently put out their Tarp... Tarp? What? Tarte recently put out their Tarte Shape Tape Foundation. And oh my god, you guys, have you watched any of their review videos on this foundation? They are, one, hilarious. Um, I love Jackie Ina's. Hers was, like, had me rolling on the floor laughing. Um, and I also watched a few others, and it's just crazy to me that this is still, like, an issue. This is still an issue, going in with the um, Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer. It's just crazy to me that brands are still not putting out inclusive shade ranges. Like, Tarte said that it's because people are more fair in the winter and deeper in the summer, so they're putting out more deeper shades in the summerish months, like getting later. But that really does not make any sense. Why? Why? The fact is, they really did not try. They put out three completely crazy colors that were like super red and orange and just strange. Like, go watch Jackie Ina's video. I'll link it down below if I remember. It's such a good video, and she swatches them. And it's ridiculous. It's like really, really light, orange, and dark. Who's, who is oh, Cheeto Puff? Oh, who? This is Donald Trump's summer shade. So the, the undertone is brown, okay? The color is orange. Okay, so I'm just going into my palette right here, and I'm gonna be taking Creme Brulee from MAC to set my lid because the palette I'm gonna be using today does not have a white cream shade, so I'm just going to use this in place of a shade in the palette. Okay, so the palette that we're gonna be using today is the ColourPop and Kathleen Knight's Dream Street palette. This is so beautiful, you guys. Look at this packaging. I got this for Christmas and I've been testing it out since then. And I wanted to do like an exclusive video for it, but then I just decided that I would probably just incorporate it today. Maybe I'll still do an exclusive video, but it's kind of past the time when that would probably be popular. So this is what it looks like. I love the rose gold marble and then on the inside this is what the palette looks like. So gorgeous. These colors are amazing. I've used almost every single shade in here. I think I have used every single shade in here. So the first shade I'm going to be going in with is Magical which is this light peach smoothie-esque shade. This is really beautiful and I'm just going to be putting this in my crease and buffing it all around. 
Okay, so has anybody else been obsessing, like obsessing over The Greatest Showman? I know it's been a while since it's been released. Like I know like you're probably like, okay, this is old news of my, this was released like lots of weeks ago. Um, and I saw it like two weeks ago. And oh my God, I don't remember the last time that I loved a movie so much. Like I watched this movie and I was like, everything they just did, perfect. Why don't, why don't we just not bother making any more musicals? That was perfect. And I don't know, I just thought the story was so great. It wasn't too romantic, because I don't really like romantic movies. It wasn't too, like, action-packed. It wasn't too singy. Like, you know musicals that just sing way too much? This was not like that. It was just so, so good. Next, I'm going into the shade Shooting Star right here. Um, it's more of a, like, mid-tone brown. I just thought it was so good. And the actors in it were awesome. And I'm sorry, I had no idea that Hugh Jackman could sing like that well. I had no idea. It was crazy. Also, Zac Efron looked so good in that movie. I'm a huge Zac Efron fan, just saying. Um, have been, always will be. He just looks so good in that movie. Okay, I'm gonna be switching brushes. And I'm gonna be going in with my M441. And I'm gonna be taking this shade right here, which is Potion potion right here and put that right on the outer corner so yeah if you haven't seen it yet I highly recommend going to see it I think it's really good okay so then I'm gonna be going in with this shade right here this is called elfish it's like a nice dark brown one of my favorite shades in this palette it's just really really beautiful it's not too red and it's not too cool toned either very very nice shade so completely switching gears here but I was just thinking about how I have been watching so many new YouTubers lately. Um, I just feel as though the YouTube community with like more popular YouTubers, and this isn't like everybody, um, but a lot of them are all reviews. Um, but I just feel like a lot of like the bigger YouTubers are drifting away from the more creative videos and the like tutorials and doing a lot more reviews. Like everything's like first impression or reviewing this line of makeup or reviewing this new thing and that new thing and maybe it's just the time of year because I know a lot of releases come out um, like after Christmas, around Christmas, stuff like that so we're kind of getting towards the end of that um, but I just feel like everything is a review now and I don't really want to watch reviews I don't particularly love watching reviews I mean if it's a product that I really am interested in buying then yeah maybe but none of these products I'm really interested in. Like a Kylie Cosmetic thing will come out, everyone will do a review on that. And then a different Too Faced thing will come out, everyone will do a review on that. So it's just like constant, everybody doing the same thing, the same review, the same everything. And I just really don't get those videos to be totally honest because I don't watch them. I don't know really who watches them. Okay, then I'm gonna be going in the shade Moony right here. It's like a satin white shade. And I'm just gonna use this to highlight my brow bone. Raw Beauty Christie is someone who I have recently gotten really into because she actually replied to one of my tweets um, asking for help on like what makeup I should do with a dress that I was wearing and she was super super sweet and she like she wasn't even tagged in the tweet that I asked um, I asked some people for help and she wasn't even tagged in but she totally like jumped in the conversation and was super super sweet about it and I was like okay wow this is really really nice and I know I'd heard about her before and um, I've heard really great things about her channel so I was like I definitely need to check this out because this girl seems really really cool and she totally is her videos are hilarious and she does a lot of reviews too but they're different they're not like the same old, same old reviews that YouTubers do. So now I'm gonna be going into the shade Sweet Dreams, which is right here. This is my favorite shade in the palette. It doesn't really look like much when you swatch it. Um, it looks kind of like crumbly and like there's not really anything on there, but you guys, this is one of the most beautiful shades I have ever used on my eyes. And just pop that on, as you guys can see. How beautiful is that? Now I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade right here, which is called Twinkle, um, on my finger, just a teeny bit of it, and work this in with the other shade just to add a little bit more of a pinky rose gold bronze. Okay, so I just adjusted my camera, so I apologize if things are different than how they were. Okay, now this is the fun part. I'm gonna take this e.l.f. glitter liner in Shimmering Gold. It's this beautiful coppery shade. And if I can find a mirror somewhere, very lightly just apply some of this glitter 
to my lid. I love these e.l.f. glitter liners because they really don't deposit like anything, which you would think would be really bad. But for all over the lid glitter, it's amazing because you just get those tiny little glitter flecks without getting a ton of glitter, like without going overboard. So this is kind of the look, more or less, that I've been doing lately. Okay, moving on to the face. I'm going to be using the Ordinary Serum Foundation today. I've been loving this foundation as well. It's so liquidy and gorgeous, but definitely has coverage to it. It's not like a no coverage waste of product, why bother sort of foundation, you know? I take a little bit of concealer and put this on my nose. You guys know I have to do this because I got a super red nose. So I'm on season 13 of Criminal Minds and first of all, I absolutely love that show. It is my most favorite show in the whole entire world. I don't know what it is, but I just love like seeing the inside of what these criminal psychopaths think. It's just so intriguing to me. I think I talked about this in a Get Ready With Me in the like summertime. I've just really grown to love Criminal Minds specifically. I still love my Law & Order SVU. Of course, that new season's playing right now, which is crazy. The most recent one was so amazing. Oh my God, did you guys see that one? Um, it probably isn't the most recent one now. It was the one with the um, flight attendant who Seemed like she was gonna crash the plane, but she really wasn't. And then she said she was raped. Oh my God, you guys, it's so good. Okay, so now I'm just gonna be taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and the ColourPop No Filter Concealer and applying this underneath my eyes. But um, yeah, anyways, the current season of Criminal Minds has just really, really been interesting to me. It's probably one of my favorite seasons so far. The last episode of season 12 and like the first few episodes of season 13 just really threw me for a loop. I was like happy one second, then crying the next, then scared, and then mad, and then oh my god, like it was like blah, 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 blah. like there's so many emotions. I just, I couldn't even, I couldn't even handle it. I did not like season 12 as much where Reed was gone, like for most of it because he's in jail. I just didn't like that season. It was too stressful for me. Reed is my favorite character, so I really didn't like him being in jail. Kind of made me upset. I don't know, that season wasn't my favorite and I actually stopped watching it for I would say like a month like I don't know for a lot of December and January I didn't watch Criminal Minds one because I was really really busy with files and stuff like that so I didn't really have the time to um but I just didn't I wasn't interested in it. I actually started watching a lot more YouTube it was really hard to, for me to watch Reed in jail to be totally honest I just I love him so much I'm gonna be trying out the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid this is in the shade Opal so as far as the beauty community goes, like I was saying earlier, I know I'm kind of jumping around in this, but I just had a thought. Um, I feel like it's not just the beauty community on YouTube and like YouTube in general that has been going really crazy. I feel like it's all social medias and also life in general. I feel like people have been, just been acting really strange in real life and on YouTube people have been um, a lot more, I don't know, causing a lot more problems, like everything is a big deal, everything is uh, dramatic, everything's chaotic, and I feel like it's just been happening a lot, especially with just the world, like 2017 was crazy. Um, I feel like that kind of kick-started this year with everything being very chaotic and feeling very chaotic and that sort of feeling transferred over and now everything is still very chaotic. I'm just gonna be setting my under eyes with some of the RCMA no color powder real fast. My kind of like 2018 like resolution I guess you could say. I don't like to make like resolutions. I like to make goals and wishes. I just don't really like the word resolution. Um, it sounds like, I don't know, I feel like New Year's resolutions are like when people are like, I want to lose weight. Like, I have a New Year's resolution. I don't know. I feel like there's like kind of a cliche, like bad connotation when it comes to the word resolution. So I like to say goal and wish and stuff like that. Um, so kind of my wish and my goal for 2018 is to stay out of drama. 2017 was filled with drama for me in my personal life. It was really crazy and I'm not going to say that it wasn't my fault that there was a lot of drama because, let's face it, if there's drama in our lives, 90% of the time, 
well, probably more than that, like 98% of the time, it has something to do with us. Unless there's like the occasional thing where people are just being like crazy for no reason. There's usually something that we did to cause it and to bring that upon ourselves. And I definitely did that. I'm done with drama. I'm done with that like just icky feeling. You know what I mean? Do you guys, do you guys know what I mean? Like when there's drama going on, you just have this like, eh, there's like this ick. So I'm just going in with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer to bronze my face up. This is still one of my favorite bronzers, you guys. Like I have been using other bronzers. I love other bronzers, but when it comes down to it, this one is just my favorite. Okay, so for blush, I'm going to be trying out the Essence Satin Touch Blush again. This is in the shade Satin Love. I recently mentioned this in a video that I did called 9 products, supposed to be 10 products. Wasn't 10 products until I was writing down the blog post for it, and I was like, wait a minute, there's only 9 products here. <laughs> 9 products that uh, I have in my collection, but I never use, and this was one of them, so I'm going to try to use it again. I'm gonna try to figure out if I like this or not. I'm gonna put this on my e.l.f. 107 brush. So many people love this and I just don't understand what makes me not want to use it. I've never really had any bad experiences with it, but I just feel like I haven't had any overwhelmingly good experiences with it either. I feel like everybody loves this blush and I just don't love it that much. I don't understand why. So I have the idea for a new sort of video on my channel. I wanna do makeup tutorials where I copy the style, technique, and kind of look of a different YouTuber. So for example, like if I was gonna do a Kathleen Lights tutorial, I would do my makeup how she does it. Probably use some of her favorite products in it if I have them. I would recreate one of her looks and I would try to do it in her technique and her style because I feel like all YouTubers have a very like distinct way that they do makeup, especially more well-known ones like her. I'm just gonna go in with the Milani um, strobe light powder. They just have a really distinct style. And I would love to do a video and like kind of explore the differences. It would be different than like just copying a makeup tutorial of theirs because I feel like when you copy a makeup tutorial, you're like adapting it to your own technique. You're using your own different ways that you do stuff. Whereas this would be doing it how they do it exactly. So blending like they blend doing like an eye look for their eye shape that they like to do, not using your own techniques, like using their techniques. I'm just gonna take all of those colors that we used before and blend them onto the lower lash line. I'm not gonna really talk through this, like explain what I'm doing because it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, but I don't know, I just felt like that was kind of a cool idea um, to me. I don't really think that anybody's done it too much. I mean, I haven't really explored. I haven't watched like every YouTube video ever. So I don't really know if anybody's done anything similar like this. Um, it doesn't really matter to me, honestly. I just thought it would be a cool idea to do. If you know me in my personal life, you're gonna groan when you start to hear me talk about this. But I have been obsessed with Olive Garden for like the past few months. Really, honestly, I've been obsessing over Olive Garden since I went to Florida, because that's where I first tried it. I don't really love their food so much as I love their salad and breadsticks. Of course. Um, but I have been obsessing over their stuff, right? I know the Italian in me. I have a lot of Italian in me. It's crying. It's very mad at me. I'm probably not going to go to heaven for saying this. Um, but I just, I really love Olive Garden. <laughs> and you can buy their dressing at the store. And let me tell you guys, it tastes exactly, I mean exactly, like the dressing at Olive Garden. You know how sometimes you get like those products that are like, oh, just like the restaurant or whatever. It's the restaurant, put something out like that and you're like, okay, and then you try it and it's really disappointing because it tastes nothing like it. This is not like that. This tastes literally exactly, exactly like the dressing from Olive Garden. And I've been eating it like twice a day on my salads. I'm just gonna finish off with some Wet n Wild setting spray. And then I'm going to press everything into the skin with the bouté of my bouté blender. So I just applied my Benefit Roller Lash and then I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced and Better Than Sex Mascara. Still one of my favorite combinations. I've actually been really liking the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara, um, but the Better Than Sex is just so, so good as well. It's still one of my faves. 
Um, the Velvet Noir definitely gives you a more like, I don't know how to describe it. It's almost like a very fluffy, like, velvet. It's very velvety. Okay, so for lips, I tried this out the other day and I really, really liked it. Um, it's the Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lipstick in Lolita. This is what it looks like. For some reason, I was expecting this formula to be like really matte and drying, but it's actually not. It's like a satin, like creamy sort of formula. And I applied it with a lip balm underneath and it applied so well. And I'm gonna go in with this now and dab. I'm just like dabbing it on like that. And I'm gonna go in with my finger and blend it out. And it creates almost like, like a stained, very natural lip effect just looks really really beautiful okay so that is it for this video you guys I hope you guys like seeing kind of my everyday glam eye sort of look that I have been doing as of late this is just such an amazing palette it has the right amount of neutrals the right amount of colors where you can really create so many looks with it it's really really awesome very unique not like any other palette I have in my collection and I hope you enjoyed getting to sit down and just kind of chit chat with me for a little bit uh, and yeah I will see you in my next video Mwah.